Yo, what's really good on my day ones? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, this is uh, another informatics update, or should I say another nursing informatics update. And uh, we got three more classes to go. We are so close. This term I'm, uh, I'm taking two. So it should go by pretty quick. It should be done within uh, two and a half months with the next two classes. And then my final class is uh, Advanced Nursing Informatics. It's insane to me with what's going on. Like everything, it's, it's really hard to concentrate. And I'm pretty sure there is a ample amount of nurses who could say the same thing because you're juggling two things at once and it's starting to become like a, a, mental, a mental game. Because you're staying at home and uh, you're doing your best to stay proactive both in your professional life, your personal life, and your spiritual life. But uh, that's besides the point. So uh, it's really hard to uh, it's really hard to talk about you know nursing informatics when I have other things on my hand. But uh, I, I did want to talk about my next subject, which is informatics technology management. I'm really stoked. I'm really stoked to be taking this class, and I'm really stoked to be on the final leg. One thing I could uh, advise to those who are actually doing their postgraduate or nursing school at the moment is being proactive, both with your relationships and also, again, your personal life. Relationships are pertinent, especially when it comes to motivation because uh, I was once told in my psych class that no man is an island. Without someone else, you really cannot progress and the best thing you can do is rely on the, your loved ones and if not your loved ones your friends to get you through this very uncertain time and uh, i'm not gonna lie my motivation has been low because of what's going on both inside the hospital and just not being able to to socialize as much as i used to look if anyone knows me i like to stay at home but i don't like to be told to stay at home you know and i haven't been to the gym in so long so that's like up here, like that, that, that was my that's my outlet, and YouTube is another outlet, so that's why I'm making this video to kind of de-stress. I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips when it comes to school right now. Tip number one: take your time. A lot of the nursing administration for schools understand what's going on. I've been emailed a couple times when it came to uh, to my requirements for school, and also my assignments, saying that if you need an extension, reach out to your your uh, to your professors because they too understand because you know upper administration has already spoken to them I don't know how it is for other schools but at my school we've been told to reach out should we need to uh, to do so tip number two your phone is gonna be your best friend hands down communication is important especially if you need to talk to someone I know it's very tough to be at home all the time and it's very rough to actually to not see your friends on a daily basis. I'll admit, you know, I don't have much friends, but being at home all the time has actually made me rely on my parents more. I've gotten to know them more. You know, it's, I feel like it is a blessing in disguise to a certain extent, because now we see kids running around, we see people outside. It feels like the 90s again. Tip number three. There's gonna be days where you feel like giving up. It's normal, it's normalcy right now, especially with what's going on, and I feel like the way of life is going to change. And considering the fact that we're always wearing masks, this is something that to t that we need to take into consideration, that this is uh, this may be a new norm of normalcy when it comes to wearing masks. And days where you don't want to do work is the days that count the most. And I say this because throughout my master's program, there was times where I just didn't want to write a paper, but I'll tell you what one of my good friends told me, just get it over with. Okay, I know I know sometimes reading is a pain in the butt, but that's why you decided to become a master So you be a master at your craft and also do better bigger things than just stay at the bedside, right? And my last tip is to have an outlet uh, for me video games. I play a lot of video games um, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy. I've been playing a lot of Apex and I've just been doing something that I, I like versus uh, You know always staying in the books. I also like to read books on the side so that really does help so to do things that you like i forgot to mention exercise exercising really good way of training your mind just to get up out of get get up out of bed and do something stay active keep that heart strong and uh, just to keep striving with that being said we are on the last leg of this nursing informatics and i cannot be any more stoked because right here i have all of my rubric and i'm ready to tackle on the next eight weeks and i can't wait to to get that degree all right Hope you guys are doing well. Comment section below. Let me know how you guys are doing. 
and I'll comment back if I can. And I hope you guys are doing great. And also, you guys are remaining safe when it comes to this COVID-19. Y'all take care. Shihu.